Hi guys, how are you guys doing? We're back again with another video and today I am with Margaret. Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no stop! Oh my god! That was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to get paid, take money, cash checks, you see the set. Right, so today we're going to be talking about being a Christian or trying to get right with God whilst being in university and the temptations that come with it. Oh, we're not perfect, we're not by any chance like, so it's just, just generally yeah. like our thoughts about how we've struggled with getting right still with God. Struggling. I'm still struggling, thank you. 100%, oh yeah. wow. <laughs> so yeah. Well, yeah, we hope you enjoy. I give away our clubbing, I don't like, I've stopped enjoying it like clubbing is very boring for me but you still end up going out yeah clubbing for me like i wouldn't even say like like i always say like i don't judge people who are christians who go clubbing who are not christians who go like like cause i've been there for me my final breakthrough was when i went out and i just didn't enjoy it but on yeah. a personal level like i was just there yeah. and i was like oh my god why am i actually here yeah. and i was like oh my god thank you god for, like the fact that i would made that decision out of my own Rather well, than feeling guilty and yeah. be like, I'm gonna stop like going out. Like, no, it was just like I was in that setting. I thought, nah, like. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I realized that um, last week Friday when I went out, went to a house party, I I was just like, why am I here? <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself, I've got so much more to be doing. At this very precise moment, time, I'm sat here looking miserable. <laughs> Some girl came up to me like. You look so sad. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm good. There's always, I always say this, this is one thing. God is long term, over the years, short term. So we, our call, you, you think our call for an hour, you get waved, five hours later, you're sick. Yeah, Another hour later, you're right. not. You, like, I'm never going to drink again. No, something, I'm never going to drink again. Yeah. Next weekend, you're dying it again. But with God, if it was something like, if for something that he said that listen my child you do this for you you can enjoy it yeah every it single day so it will bring you so much joy yeah. whereas if you're if you what do you call it drinks doing alcohol it, yeah. and doing drugs and all that it's just like a high and then you're like, yeah you're, like, the high doesn't yeah. last long um i think when it comes to being when it comes to focusing on god it's it in a sense it's a lonely journey but at the same time it's not yeah it says that when God deals with you, he's going to deal with you and just you. Yeah. But then there's people, there should be people around you that helps you on that Yeah, day. and that's why friendships in uni is the biggest. Like yeah. we were saying, like when you come to uni, you just make friends for making friends sake. Yeah. It's only as the years go on that you start to like you see who's... Start nitpicking who's Yeah, bad, who's you know. on your level, which people you... Yeah. Will, like, yeah, which people you will associate with if you were back yeah, home. True, true. Cause it's always good to have good people, like not good people, that's not bad, but people who are on the same wavelength, wavelength. it makes everything easy for you mm -hmm. rather than you just going this way and they're all like all right yeah we're trying to like it's just you feel lonely and it is lonely like getting right with god and like trying to like be a young christian still live you know baby boy baby girl lifestyle yeah, yeah, definitely, that's how i felt after summer because i went to a i went to a retreat called um passion or gdm plug <laughs> free promo but yeah I, I went to that i went to that i went to that um, retreat and i was it changed my life in the sense that I've never felt so close to God in yeah, my life so at that moment in time. Like I got baptized for 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 <laughs> gang gang. <laughs> now, I'll, 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 I'll show you the photos. I got baptized, and I'm telling you, after that, that same that same day, I started speaking in tongues. Oh, what a madness! I'm telling you, if I was to say, if I was to tell you the whole process of that yeah. of that few days, you wouldn't believe it. People think you know when you know when God does a magical thing in your life and you try to tell people you can't explain and you it. Can't explain yeah. it. And people are like, why are, you, why are you trying to share? Is this 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 all in your brain? But then at the same time, after I was I come back and there's nobody in my friendship group that's in that same yeah. place. So you as almost me. leave that behind. It's like you've left all those things, those spiritual things in the mm -hmm. retreat, and you come retreat. back mm -hmm. to here and you're like, like oh, it felt so different. It was so it was so mad, but obviously. As you get back into your daily life that you had before the retreat, yeah. everything just goes back to just go back to where you was before. Was so before. now that feeling I had when after the retreat is yeah, completely gone. gone. So and I think to myself, where did I go wrong? I don't know why I, I went think wrong. that's that's do you know what? Like I'm so happy you said that where did I go wrong? I think that's a lot of people's mistakes that like young Christians do. Like I used to do all the time, like when I do something on backslide, I'd be like, oh my god, like and on this journey that I've been on, I've learned that like you're gonna make mistakes, mm -hmm. regardless of how much 
you get touched by God or you you know you're trying so hard to be yeah. your your humans. Like yeah, true. do you know what I mean? Like, I think like you need to appreciate and actually be happy that you're making those mistakes. Yeah, I feel like true. No, no, there's no perfect Christian. Let me just tell you that right now, guys. Anyone who comes to you and says, "Oh, I'm perfect," no, no such no, thing, because no the holiest person, we know God's disciples, used to disciples. Yeah. But, do you know what I mean? Like it's from that. Jesus disciple betrayed him. So like, mm-hmm. who are we to be perfect in this life? So, yeah. and I think that's a mistake. We all feel guilt when you do something wrong. You think, "All oh, right, I messed up. That's it. I can't." Yeah. And then you totally, end up just kind totally, of going that way instead of like totally. moving forward. Do you know what I mean? Totally. Yes. Yeah, I remember it came to a point where I was I was like, you know, doing things I shouldn't be doing, doing things I shouldn't be doing. Before the retreat, every time I did it, I had like a massive, massive guilt after I did it. But yeah. obviously you ignore that you get over it. But then now it's like a it's like a different type of guilt where I still shouldn't be doing it, but I'm doing it and I don't it's not that I necessarily feel bad. It's like I know that I'm just gonna forgive me, but yeah. I don't know whether that's also bad at the same time. Because now I'm like taking advantage of the, the grace that, that yeah. he's given me, which is like, like I feel like I'm shredding on her wall. Yeah. Because one it was flicked me like, <laughs> it's almost need like to get back into it soon. It's almost like when like things in your life aren't going so well, mm-hmm. and just just go and need your prayer to God and like God, please this exam that I've got, please let me pass it, let me get this job. And then that happens, mm-hmm. and you get the job, you pass your exam, and then you're done. Gospel makes me emotional. Yeah. Hella emotional. And it came a point where we would be singing my eyes closed. I'll be like, hey, it's fine. The old me would be like, <laughs> my eyes I'm a, a cry. But now it's just like, watch me cry. Yeah. Because the emotion that I'm feeling in this it's moment real. is too real for me yeah. to pretend like it's not there. Ignoring signs from God. Like for me, my biggest thing I'd say is relationships. Like, the opposite sex like since as long as I can know I've always been in and out of one toxic relation and like yeah. rather than me to just be like okay take a break let me just, up until like recently I was like nah that is it like yeah. I have nothing against like you know like this but now I need time to actually see what God is saying to yeah. me so clearly these people that I've invested my time energy on what who God wants to be do you know what I mean because like I'm a good person guys <laughs> I'm actually a good <laughs> person and these people aren't treating me the way I deserve. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? I want to put my stand, first. Do you know what I mean? Myself first and like actually know myself, grow with God, and then I feel like the right person will come, come along. So I feel like the signs were just coming at yeah. me. And I was like, no, oh God, but you think cute. Like, come on. Like, yeah, come on, do you know yeah. what I mean? God was saying, no, nah, like, I don't, this person is not for you. And I feel like the signs are really important. So when, yeah. if, if you're feeling in your heart that, like, okay, I don't want to do this or like you don't want to go out or you know, it's strongly laying in your heart yeah. I strongly think sometimes it's good to also follow your gut mates it's, it's not just there for the back do you know it's what I mean like, for back, yeah. it's not just there for the sake of it because you wouldn't you wouldn't be feeling that guilt if it was just there it was, yeah, it be, do you know what I mean yeah. Um, so yeah I'd say like looking out for like signs and trying your best to just resist temptation because there's going to be temptation everywhere like there's going to be girls there's going to be there's going to be like Girls, boys, alcohol, clubbing, like these things, they're there for a reason. Like they're there because they're sweet. Yeah, <laughs> sweet, sweet, like honey. <laughs> sweet, sweet, like honey. Like, you it know. It tastes sweet in the moment, and then a minute later, a few minutes later, you're like, why did I do why this? Why did I do that? Why are you talking? The process <laughs> in my mind was that, like, I know that people right now are looking at me and thinking, this is the same guy that was there. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. On top of a table, and they're like, I'll show you. But this is the reason why we're doing this video, I think, because like, like I said, we're not perfect. No one's perfect. We're literally two... Imperfect people. Imperfect people. Imperfect, imperfect, perfect people. Imperfect. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Bro. Um, yeah, imperfect, perfect people. There's always going to have godly friends. People around you who are striving for what you're yeah. also striving for in terms of they want a relationship with God. It's a very hard journey, guys, and it's just a matter of just seeking God the best you can, set aside time in your busy lifestyles to just thank Him, do you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't be where you are without Him. And God has the good plans for us, like He doesn't have anything selfish plans or anything negative. So he wants us to have a good life. Everything's for growth. Do you know what I mean exactly? Everything's for growth. I just feel like, I just feel like, I need, to be, I need people to understand that. 
I am not talking about everybody else, I'm talking about me in the yeah. sense that this I'm judging myself while I'm talking to you. So you guys understand that I'm not perfect, she's not perfect, yeah. nobody's perfect. And we have so much more to work on because everybody is striving for right now. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that, all of that. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Thank you. Peace. Okay, we can do your thing now.